Hi, my name is Mike Korn, and I live in Carmel, Indiana. That's the central part of Indiana. So we have some fairly cold winters here. And uh, in this apiary, we run 10 to 15 colonies per year, depending on the year. For the past eight years, we've had several different overwintering systems that we've tried, trying to come up with the ideal setup. We've tried upper ventilation systems, We've tried quilt boxes, we've tried moisture boards, plastic wraps, uh, all the setups that we've tried. We've had uh, mixed survival rates, and of course they all come with various setup and uh, storage challenges. Then we tried the hive hugger system, which is a hive wrap and includes a crown board. And, you know, we found the hive hugger system to be easy to use, easy to store. In fact, you can even get uh, a storage bag with it. Uh, I hang them on a wall in my workshop. Uh, but most importantly, we had this past year 100% uh, survival rate with the hive hover system. It was our first year using that system. We also had really great early spring buildup. So we're happy with it. We're gonna use it on all of our colonies again this year. Uh, normally, uh, for our setup, we use a deep and medium brood box uh, with a three inch feed shim, like this one. Uh, and we put inside the feed shim, we put you know, either sugar brick or fondant for emergency feed for the bees. Uh, on top of that, we put a clear inner cover. So it's very easy, it's unvented, of course. And it's easy for us to uh, put the crown board on top of that and then, of course, an outer cover, uh, telescoping outer cover normally. We use the hive hugger exterior wrap as well. And of course, as I said, there's no upper ventilation. To check the feed, you know, the sugar brick or the fondant, we simply raise the crown board and the outer cover just a couple inches from the back. And because it's clear, we can see what's going on and whether or not they need more feed. And it's also uh, set up so that um, it's solid so that there, there's no way for the bees to fly up and we're not letting cold air in. And then of course, again, the hive hugger crown board goes back on the top. With the hive hugger crown board and no venting, the thing we found is that all of the moisture forms on the side walls, nothing on the top. And of course, we see that when we go in and check the feed and we can see the moisture forming on the sides. And you know, one of the things that's amazing uh, is that the bees, we believe, can also control the air in that upper chamber where they're residing in the wintertime, just as if they were in a hollow tree. This past winter, uh, I came out to check one time, it was 23 degrees Fahrenheit outside, so fairly chilly. And the bees were not clustered. They were in the upper brood box and they were uh, walking around on the side walls, gathering or foraging for the moisture, and then using that moisture to break down the sugar brick and the fondant. Of course, the bees have to have some moisture to break down uh, sugar brick and fondant. So it works out really well. We never one time in all the colonies we checked did we see any moisture uh, up above the bees, which is crucial. You know, as I said, the hive hugger system for us, it's easy to use easy to store and the crown board looks just like this is effective the hive hooker system works I would recommend it for any beekeeper operating in cold winter areas but the other thing I would say is this is the setup we use you can use this crown board and the hive wrap regardless of your setup you don't have to do it like this this is just the way we do it uh, you know this is r32 so they're going to be insulated to the point where no moisture forms up above and they're well taken care of for the duration of the winter your cold air in your cold area good luck